like running a marathon. It's not about how fast you run, but it's about setting your eyes on a goal and persistently pacing yourself in order to reach that goal. If it's just academics alone, I can handle it. If it's just CCA, I'm fine. But when I have to tackle these responsibilities simultaneously, it can be quite a tough load. That's when I need to have stamina. I condition my body like how I run five sets of 400 meters every Monday to prepare myself for competition. As much as the fight is out there, there is a bigger and fiercer fight inside of me. Having the ability to persevere is crucial when navigating through this complex 21st century landscape. I see these challenges as hurdles, like in track and field. You can either go around it or jump over it. Of course, I prefer to jump over it. This inner strength is definitely something that we want to build in our students. Crossing the finish line is sweet. The journey of getting there is sweeter. I always look forward to our group meet. Um, I like to work in groups because it's more fun and exciting. In this day and age, the ability to work in groups, the ability to be a collaborative learner, is a highly necessary skill. We have to bring our point across, explain, elaborate, try to see things from each other's point of views, and negotiate with others as we go. Get our students to see and learn how to persuade, how to negotiate with people, and I think we all know that these two are very important skills of life. Whenever possible, we try to incorporate critical thinking skills when approaching any given issue. We define the topic and then we analyse it. Okay, how do they count that book? Our students gather and assess relevant information. Having the right data is like having the right fuel for your car. Interpret it effectively, come to well-reasoned conclusions and solution. It's worth the effort because not only do I remember the material, I also have a deeper understanding of the subject. Learning is fun this way. I think one thing would be the imagining program that SILA offers. Yeah, I think so too. It offers us with a platform to utilize the design thinking process. I participated in this program called the Imagineering Program. We had to pick an organization and work with them. SILA Social Innovation Program provides opportunities for our students to be exposed to authentic social issues. However big or small my role in this program is, it's not important because it's not about me, it's about the people in need. We stress to our students the value and capacity to empathise with others. These days I'm more aware of the community programmes organised by the school which I can participate in because I really want to help. Sidarians are challenged to come up with breakthrough solutions to many different social issues. We need to think out of the box. If this method doesn't work, just try another. During the planning stages, our students are encouraged to be creative and innovative in coming up with solutions. Like it or not, our actions affect everyone in the community because we're all part of the human race. What is one thing you like about us? The warm and friendly environment. I feel that the teachers are really encouraging and my friends are all very friendly as well. Complete this sentence. My teacher is dedicated, passionate, hardworking. There are so many study corners throughout the school grounds. Mine is a stone table, perfect spot for me to revise before my CCA starts. It's my special place to relax. Sometimes I go there to clear my thoughts and reflect. Um, ultimately, we want this school to be a place where our students can determine for themselves where, when and even how they want to learn. Hi. I love the way my school is set up. All I need is to log on to the school Wi-Fi and I'm ready to go. Because of this, I'm not confined to certain locations. I can do my homework anywhere and anytime. 
This is really a self-directed learning mindset that we wish to emphasize on each and every one of our students here. A lot gets done and I love it. Go! <laughs> Very good, dynamic, ready, go! They make learning relevant and practical by sharing with us their own personal experiences and understanding. They do so much more than teaching. They care for us. The community of support in Cedar Girls Secondary School is one of the pillars of our school. They teach by being an example. They inspire me. They're always there for me. As the saying goes, it takes the whole village to raise a child. What is Sida Spirit? Sida Spirit is where everyone is united as one. It's a community where everyone supports one another. Where nobody gets left behind. The Sida Spirit is synonymous with our famous Sida Solid Show, which is something special that all of us are going to do together today. Take a look!